When evening came, Jesus' disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward which they were going. The next day the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went into Capernaum looking for Jesus. I think um, it's significant that we've got to go to Capernaum today, a place of, um, where Jesus called home. And I also love this scripture because of the reference to the boats. I never really noticed that before until I was thinking about that for today. So three different references to boats. And about fear and the disciples having fears. And I know we, we all have our fears that we bring into every day that we live. But we also have those fears that Jesus meets us. And Jesus met the disciples right where they were in the middle of their fear in the middle of the boat, in the middle of the the Sea of Galilee, this place where we are now. Uh, and I just invite us to um, to give thanks that Christ comes right in the middle of every storm of our lives. Uh, we've all lived long enough, even those who've only lived 15, 17 years, 13, 14, 15 years, we've lived long enough to know fears. And Jesus meets us in the middle of every storm we could ever come to.